The entire planet was mourning on August 31st of 1997 after the death of Diana, Princess of Wales, who lost her life in the infamous car accident. Even though everyone knows about the accident, 22 years after it, there are still some unknown information being revealed to this day. Do you feel like you know everything about Lady Di and her last days? Well, worry not, because Curious Sips is here to tell you all. The already separated Diana was on an incredible trip with her new partner. They had the chance to go on a luxurious knot known as the Jonicle, which had an estimated value at 20 million pounds. The luxuries of it were captured by hundreds of paparazzi who sought to make money with exclusive pictures of the couple. They finally decided that they wanted to stop at the hotel of Dodi's father, Mohammed Al Fayed, the Hotel Ritz of Paris. It was there that she was again captured by the cameraman who didn't leave their side for a single moment. To outwit the press, they escaped through the back door in a Mercedes. Unfortunately, the vehicle they had chosen had a long history of failures that had been reported by all previous owners. It was in 1994 that the first owner purchased the car and after three months it was stolen. Then it was found in a field near Paris's Charles de Gaulle airport badly damaged. Later it was repaired and resold to Etoile Limousine and leased to the Ritz Hotel in Paris for the usage of VIP guests. Shortly before the fatal accident, the car also suffered a new robbery and it was abandoned again on the highway. Mercedes itself repaired, but the vehicle always had a small failure when the speed exceeded over 70 to 80 kilometers per hour. Despite this, it seems that the driver, who according to the analysis, was found with a high level of alcohol in his blood. He decided to accelerate to avoid some motorcycles that did not stop taking pictures of the couple, so he entered the bridge of the tunnel, Alma, at a speed between 126 to 150 kilometers per hour. This is where a white Fiat Uno had a collision with the Mercedes. Neither the driver nor the vehicle itself were found, despite the fact that the police conducted a long investigation to try to contact those thousands of owners of this popular vehicle. All the suspicions pointed to one of the owners, photographer James Anderson. Anderson allegedly said that he was more than 170 kilometers away from the events during the moment the accident occurred, but mysteriously, he was found dead three years after being shot in the head and locked in another vehicle without the keys inside. This only fueled the theories that he was involved in the case. It seems that the real cause of death was due to the fact that both Lady Di and Doughty were not wearing safety belts, which can be fatal in the case of a serious accident. At the moment when firefighters arrived at the scene of the accident, one of them, Xavier Gormalone, managed to get the princess out of the car. According to him, her last words were, My God, what's happened? Soon after, she went into a coma from which she never woke up again. The x-rays have revealed bleeding inside of her chest cavity, compressing her heart and right lung, which led to her death. It was then that all eyes were focused on the driver. Although the research initially focused on the level of alcohol he had, the truth is that they also discovered that he carried a large amount of cash in an envelope which supposedly connected him to the MI6 itself, which is a service of the British intelligence, meaning that he supposedly acted under the orders of Prince Philip, the husband of Queen Elizabeth II. This of course only remains as a conspiracy theory, because there is no evidence to support it beyond the envelope itself. There are also many people who did not believe everything was simply an accident. There are even those who claim that there was a series of strong flashes, which could not have been generated by cameras or photographers. Some also talk about letters written presumably by Diana herself in which she declared to be afraid that Prince Charles could try to end her life by using a car or airplane accident. The only thing that we are sure of is on that day, the world was orphaned. Do you remember how you found out about this sad news? What were you doing in that moment? We would love to know all about your story. While finding your way down to the comments section, remember to become part of our Curious Sips family by subscribing to our channel. Until next time.